What up, ninjas? It's your boy Naptown and JJ. We out here at the Hoosier Dome, the very first inaugural interview out here at the Hoosier Dome. I got right now. We got the meme guru slash camera guy slash go to guy, Big Nick behind the camera. Love it, boys. You need to help with your taxes. See, that's what I'm saying. You, gotta, <laughs> you need to help change the tire. Like whatever you need, man. I got the homie be the ninja with me as always. What's up? Man, it's fucking exciting. It's the middle of November. Well, it's the beginning of November. It's fucking 60 degrees out. Uh, we're here at the fucking Hoosier Dome, like AJ said, man. What a fucking show tonight. This one's been a long time coming. Uh, I'm really excited about it tonight. So, without further ado, my homie T Zank. What's up, man? Shit, not much, man. And then also, uh, you gotta fucking tell me again, man. So I just met this dude, even though I've been listening to your song like five times today. Ben Frankie, you guys jokes. Ben Frankie, ain't on this shit. Ben Frankie, aka the Ben that raps, aka your baby mama's favorite rapper. <laughs> and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let be the ninja fucking get his little questions in. But before we do that, let me tell you, he said it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. When we first started the channel, if y'all y'all has been with us for a while, if you go way back when we was doing nothing but locals out of Nap, uh, we were doing them interviews. We decided that we wanted to stay in Indiana, but we wanted to we wanted to branch outside of Indianapolis. And so we started checking out artists. Beat a ninja hit me up, and he was like, bro, check this T-Zank dude out. He go, he's like, go to YouTube and then T-Zank. So I checked him out, and I'm like, all right, bet. So we hit him up, tried to set something up. It's just, this is a busy man, y'all. So, and we've been busy, and he's been busy, and the time just hasn't, but here it is. It's the time is now. We here. So, Hell yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man, pretty much like you said, uh, we were trying to find, like, other people to, like, Starlight Indiana. And, you know what? It was just crazy because, like, I was adding, like, all these different, like, rappers and stuff from Indy on my Facebook page. And then, like, you just, some like, you popped up on my timeline. I don't know. It was, like, a suggested video. And I had checked it out, and I was like, damn, man, this dude is tight. And, like, we listen to a lot of people, you know? We're cool with a lot of people, but there's also a lot of people that are rapping right now that just suck, you know? So it was, like a really good relief to like hear somebody that was like damn I actually like this guy so I think at the time that we reached out you were promoting uh, spirit scientists yes and I checked out that album man and I mean it was good there was a lot of positivity in that one I noticed maybe yes. you're talking about like uh, like like spiritual like it pretty much said man yeah, so yeah. Uh, I want to ask like how like come since that's when I came into the T-Zank world like how did that do like what was behind that and like where did you go from there? Yeah, absolutely, man. The Spirit Scientist for me was as you said it was a real spiritual project. Um, was feeling a connection to the energy around me, the world around me, the people around me, the love around me. So I kind of wanted to just you know tap into that what I was feeling. Um, we had just came off of a, a recent national tour and uh, we were making a lot of new music, trying a lot of new lanes out. Um, we've always done a lot of lyrical stuff, um, and this I would say is more of a crossover into more vibe-based music. Um, so yeah, it was just really a, a chance for us to tap into a new sound and uh, really connect spiritually with our listeners as well as the music we were trying to create. Nice, nice. And then you said you were on a national tour. Uh, you tour a lot, man. Like, yes. You, like, you, like, that's one thing I found. You are a busy man, and you constantly got projects going. I was just on YouTube today, you know, doing some research, and uh, you guys, both of you, actually have a new video out right now. Uh, was it Cruising Altitude? Yeah, Cruising uh, Altitude. Yes, that's yes, in the thousands of views, which, by the way, you guys can check out. Uh, go to YouTube and put in T-Zank. That's T space Zank, Z-A-N-K. It'll pop up, man. The guy, the music that you guys are putting out is awesome, man. Uh, another album, uh, Pilot. Yes. Uh, do you want to talk about that one a little bit? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, Pilot's my most recent release and probably my most in-depth project that I've released. It's a, uh, it's a real positive release. All the music that I put out, I try to, you know, pack a message in and bring some consciousness with it. Um, but essentially, the plan for Pilot was to um, analyze a flight and how it relates to life and like. We have the ups, the downs, we reach a cruising altitude, we hit some turbulence, we go through our struggles, and I wanted to metaphorically attach my life and my perspective to what a flight is like um, with all of those aspects. So that's kind of a brief synopsis of what it is. Uh, that's a project you can check out on Spotify, YouTube, have hard copies available as well through realtzank.com and Facebook. Um, but yeah, man, 
it's it's a really dope project. I'm really proud of it. Made a lot of the beats on it. Did a lot of the mixing and the mastering. Shouts to my partner David Santango. He does a lot of beats for me as well, as well as uh, Zach Davidson. He works with me on the mixing and mastering a lot as well. And uh, yeah, man, pilot, we're flying out here. You know what I mean? Trying to reach that new altitude. Cruising altitude. Uh, what we mentioned a minute ago is a single from that project featuring the homie Ben Frankie. Um, Ben's been with Successful Music for about two years now. And, uh, we actually shot that video uh, while we was on tour. Yeah, the A1 tour. We were traveling around the states on about a 35 city run. And, while we uh, mentioned the videos, for y'all that already know who, they, who he is or who they are, y'all know y'all's videos are really dope. Thank like you. that's it, Miles Meyer. Shout out to Miles Meyer Films as well. Like as straight do. up, really? like all the videos I've seen are just like, wow, this is really well done. Like you've had some videos that. You're, you're on the come up, and I've seen some of your videos that are killing a lot of these videos that are in the mainstream shit, doing things right now. Like Yeah, man, Miles is the truth. He's the dude that captures the exact energy you're going for. And I've been working with Miles for six years. There's a lot of dope videographers too, but Miles really just taps into what I'm trying to get across. And I think that all of his clients feel the same way. So, shouts to Miles Byer out there holding it down in Los Angeles, man. He's, he's a killer fucking videographer. So, you guys, this is the first time I got to actually see you perform live, and you have a full-on band. I yes. Mean, you have guitar, drums, I mean, you got the whole, is that, like, something that you, like, do in the studio, and then, like, you try to bring out here, and, like, I get, let me word that different. Sorry about that. I'm fucking up, man. I'm nervous. See, that's what he's doing. Like, Not so often just around stars. So, like, <laughs> So, well, I mean, like, when you're in the studio, do you actually, like, put the live band actually, like, in there and record it, or is that something that's just all done on, like, computer and stuff like that? Yeah, so until this time, it's, uh, it's all been um, pretty much synthetic and in the, in the lab. We haven't really done much with live instruments. We've done some stuff with guitars, some stuff with bass and keyboards, um, but the live stuff is something that we've been bringing to the to the show mainly only until this point. But with this group of guys that we just got together, they're all really musically inclined. They all are kind of on the same wavelength. And uh, we've been traveling with bands for about two years, but I would say at this moment, um, we feel the most gel between everybody. It's about and the time most... we're gonna start incorporating what, what you're talking yeah. about, what we're building together. Actually, we're, gonna record, we're, gonna we're gonna record our next projects, I think, with the live band and really try to incorporate that in our CD sound as well. You nice. have a very versatile sound too. Like I've heard you do a lot of different styles in the hip hop. Like, and if I'm right, like you sing on some stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, that. see, so that's like, how do you? I guess the way I see, now I'm fucking up. I guess the way I was gonna ask that is how do you? How does your mind put it in all? How can you touch so many different styles? Like you're doing a band that's like touching the rock style. Yeah. It's got like a country kind of sound to it. <laughs> uh, you're like chopping on some stuff. Um, so how, how is it that you're able to do all across all that? The simple answer is I just love music, man. I was raised in a household around classic rock. And um, I just get down with a lot of different sounds. There's really not that much music I don't like. So um, Ben and I are both really versatile. I've been playing guitar for 15 years. So I like to just incorporate a lot of different styles in and not get caught in one path, you know what I mean? I like to really make a lot of different music, not only for my fans, but for the other listeners that I might be able to reach with that positive message that we talk about. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really just a drive from within to, to always make something new and push the boundaries, you know what I mean? Try something new and really get out there in a new way every time you drop something. Nice. Now you've been with them um, for a couple of years now, correct? Is that what yeah, yep. I met Zach probably two years ago. Okay. Se well, September. It'll probably it'll be will it be three years in September. Nah. No, I think it'll be two, two years in years. September. Yeah. Or, or the past September was two years ago. Okay. Now. And then how did that come about? Like, how did you get into where you are now? Um. Well, when I when I was 18 years old, actually, I got in trouble and I got I went to prison for five years. So from 18 to 23, I was locked up in prison. And I got out and started getting on Facebook and started doing all that, you know what I mean? I, that's actually where I first, like I always rapped a little bit and like would freestyle at parties, but never really took it real serious until I was in the joint. And then that was like an outlet, you know what I mean? I, I realized how good I was getting, yeah, plenty of time. I was right, and I was getting good. I was getting good at putting it together. And so I wanted to do it. And kind of like the same way you stumbled across a video that was like sponsored or, or whatever and you just seen. 
I, I seen one of his posts that somebody else had shared or something about like, because he runs a whole studio, like you said, he's a busy man, he's grinding, he runs a studio too, he engineered my entire first project, made the entire, produced the whole thing, engineered the whole thing, I recorded everything with him, every beat was only Taylor and I, and like he said, DJ Dave helped out on some stuff, but anyway, I uh, saw one of those posts and uh, hit him up, that's about coming to the studio, and I came through and recorded No Hook Necessary Part 1, the first one with him and did 64 bars the first tape one tape this man went for like three minutes straight no mess ups no need to like fix anything i never seen nothing like it bro it first like time we ever first, first time we ever met it was just the first tape i was just i was just ready <laughs> and then from there it was just literally take off yeah you, know, and you hear that time. you hear that in this uh hit single uh another necessary part two which is well over a thousand a hundred thousand views on a lot of different platforms he says, came through, we had a first session, 64 bars, first take, no flex. That's, That's really how exactly how we managed the story. It's yeah. crazy. Man. That's awesome, man. And then I want to jump into this because you are busy traveling. What do you got going on as far as like uh, touring? I heard a rumor that you're getting ready to go overseas. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been blessed to, to do a lot of different stuff overseas um, so far in my career. In two days, I leave for Southeast Asia. I'm gonna do uh, two and a half weeks with New Fame over in Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand. So I'm just beyond blessed. The festival, right? What's the name of the festival? Yeah, Quest Festival is the first thing we're hitting in Vietnam. There's gonna be thousands of people there. I'm just, I'm just excited to meet some new listeners and see some new land. You know? Nice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, man. Well, we definitely wish you safe travels with that, man. Thank that you. It's gonna be fun. I appreciate it. It's ready, time. Man. I'm ready. I gotta yeah. ask, man. I'm so ready. I haven't asked this question in a long time. He doesn't me, did I? He asked the other day. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, man. Anyway, point me. Does T Zank, does Ben Frankie, do y'all fuck with wrestling? With wrestling? Uh, my brother was actually uh, a collegiate wrestler. He went to a national final for wrestling. Um, yeah, I think he means like WWE. Yeah, yeah. But that's tight, right, because I fuck with real wrestling. <laughs> that's what I was getting into. like, I don't really, I don't do too much WWE, but I have a lot of respect for it, you know what I mean? I know you gotta be an athlete to do that, just like any other sport. Well, and, uh, that was the wrong answer, and if you ready, let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it, bitch. I'm to go down, well, let's fuck it. it. <laughs> fuck it. I got a tag team match. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I, I don't get into it too much anymore. I don't, um, I don't like watch a lot of, a lot of TV right now, really. <laughs> I, I watch a lot of sports when I do, but, when I was younger, I, I was really into it. When it was WWF, they had The Rock and Stone Cold and all them. That I really liked that. I kind of, yeah, I kind of. So I'm gonna ask you the next one. I see. I grew out of it when I was driving a car. So you don't get I performed stressed. the Heroes and Legends one. It was awesome. <laughs> uh, let's go back. Let's go back in time. Let's go back to when you were a kid. Yeah. Monday Night Raw is coming on. Mm. Who are you most excited to see come out of that? Come out of the curtain walk. I love the Hardy Boys, man. Those are my dudes. The Hardy Boys. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I like to, I like Stan. Yeah, they did all the Ben Swan time on too. Bro, I used to put on T-shirts and wrap them around my head like I had long hair like Jeff Hardy. Throw it back and start Swan time off the couch. One of my sisters. I get grounded for that too. Hey, to this day you can see Ben Frankie Stone Cold in the beers and double. I still yeah. I love Stone Cold is my favorite wrestler. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I love the Stone Cold few beers with you. If you ever see this somehow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stone Cold, if you see this, make sure to get it us. Yeah. Come on, wrap us in. Let us know. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> All right, I know you got a question. Yeah, I'm gonna set it up for you, man. <coughs> Normally, days. we've been asking them one a lot. It's been Halloween, so we're gonna get off of that question. I'm gonna go to a question we haven't asked in quite a while. Um, what is y'all's of all time favorite cartoon? Favorite cartoon, man. That's a tough question. I've always been a huge Hey Arnold fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was the era that football I watched. Hit. Yeah, football head, the eating contest. Hey Arnold is literally the only episode. thing I can talk about. Yeah. If it's not a stick, like Hey Arnold, that's the only, like I can draw stick figures, a really badass like S, and Hey Arnold all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, my favorite cartoon, I had a lot of them, but I think my favorite one that I remember watching most was Tom and Jerry. Oh, and I, 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 I love that. I, like, I would be Classic. stuck on that. My mom could put that on. She bought a DVD of Tom and Jerry, and I would watch the same ones. Like, oh, when I was really? younger, yeah, I just, I, I really liked that. But I got into a lot of cartoons, man. Cartoons. The 90s cartoons. You know they talk now? 
they talk and they're cool with each other now. Talk, like that's, that's no, the, that's I haven't seen that since they ain't talked. That my kids have seen. It's so like all the old school. Why are they it's not, not talking? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, that they didn't used to talk. I like it when they didn't talk. It's better when they don't. I agree. So. Is there any advice that you might have to like somebody that's watching this that's younger that just got into the rap business that's thinking about doing it something that they want to do as a, like pursue as a career? Is there like yeah, any, yeah. Like, words of wisdom? I got I got I got one thing I tell you. Invest in yourself. That's really the number one thing is invest in yourself. Well no matter what it is, with money, money too, like it everything. Just invest entirely in yourself. And if you don't believe in you, no one else is going to. So, like for real, if you don't believe in you, if you don't put money into what you're doing and believe in the product you're putting out, then don't even do it because no one else is going to believe you. Yes. Invest in yourself. That's my, number one, that's my number one thing I'm telling you. But... And to add on to that, be relentless. you got to be absolutely persistent. I did hip hop for five, six years. While I worked a job, I would drive four hours through the yeah. snow to shows with hardly anybody at them just to meet somebody in a different city. And I would never, I would always try to hold myself to a standard where I didn't make an excuse, where it was always like, I can make it happen no matter what. No matter if I gotta be at work in six hours, yeah. no matter if I gotta drive through crazy weather to get there, even if there's only five people there, that's an opportunity. So never take opportunity for granted. Get out there and do everything you can to gain a new fan and improve your sound, take constructive criticism well, and just stay on it, man. You gotta stay, stay grinding. And if this, if this ain't what you want to do like with over anything over anything else like if this ain't the number one thing that you want to do if you're aspiring to be a rapper or a musician or whatever if this ain't everything then it ain't it ain't it you ain't gonna you ain't gonna do it you gotta, you gotta find all, something else gotta be all in it's gotta be it's gotta be all in 100 percent of the time you can't quit this week because you put out a video and it don't have as many views as the last one you yeah. gotta grind you gotta learn that's a learning aspect go invest in yourself do it again back at it because if that's what you want more than anything in your health in your life, then you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna quit. You know what I mean? You gotta want it like you wanna breathe, to me. Good example, Ben Frank was in the hospital two days ago. He got bronchitis, but the show must go on. Got a shot in my ass to do this show. Couldn't even breathe. Killed it. Killed it. No matter what, you gotta Killed do it. it for y'all. You got that footage. It's big. Bronchitis. You got anything else? Yeah, I do, actually. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I have to ask this question. Uh, we've been talking, like I said, we've been trying to get this to happen for a while. Uh, when we first started communicating, for, for, your, for your fans that are watching this or people that have looked you up on YouTube off of watching this, uh, when we first started talking, you had kind of a different look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as somebody with long hair, I gotta know, man. Yeah. What happened to the hair, bro? Man, I just gotta change it up every once in a while. You know what I mean? feel that? It can grow back. It'll be back. I'm, I'm sure, I don't, like I, said, I don't know if you yeah. address that or not, but I'm sure some of the fans are like, man, I think, man. I think, it's, I think it really fits the new stuff that's about to come out. There's a lot I of think that, I think that's what it, the new stuff with the image that's about to come out. I, yeah. You guys are really going to like that. And I think the hair is going to fit. Fix, no, fit. I agree with that. The sound, on here. the sound is always evolving and the style is as well. So, you know, keep it's brand. Great. You are your own brand. Absolutely. I dig it. So, hey, check this out. Make sure you go check out T Zank on YouTube, Spotify. Uh, you can actually find Ben Frankie on YouTube also. Make sure you check out that album Pilot. Make sure you check out that fucking video, Cruising Altitude. Yeah. It's in, it's doing good, man. That thing's in like the thousands. I saw that today. Yep, it's, it's about to cross 100,000. It's up there. Yeah. And that's on Facebook. On YouTube, it's got like, you know, 15, 20,000, something like that. Something. And it's then doing we got, good. Ben just dropped a new video called Dreams a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's I'm on sure YouTube as well. Song. Song. Really, really real. I, I really. Tuned into everything I was kind of talking about with the with the prison or whatever. Like, I really tuned in on that one. I put put it all out, and I, Miles Maya really incorporated that into the video. I'm really proud of that one. It's probably my favorite my favorite project I've done so far. A record I've done so far. Yeah, you got to check that out. Ben Frankie dreamed. Yep, and I got a new one dropping probably when I get back from Southeast Asia called Bluetooth. So be on the lookout. Good new vibe music, man. We're gonna have some fun, so stay tuned. Yeah, man. Lots nice. of good stuff coming. Boom. A lot of also, noise. thanks to our Jack of All Trades Ninja, uh, Nick, we got some footage of tonight's show, so make sure you check that out. Y'all killed it here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, y'all like that. Nick, did you have anything? I had, nope. I had to try, but I know I'm on the spot. Can <laughs> yeah, you put me on the spot? He's nope. turning red as hell right now, y'all, because he didn't even think he was gonna get ass nothing. <laughs> so, fuck it. I'm Be The Ninja, Ben Frankie, T Zay, that's Naptown Ninja AJ. I am. What up, ninjas? Thank y'all for tuning in. We are.
That's successful something. Successful music. Up, up. See.